How did you get this? Today. You're not going to show Webb, are you? Of course not. Don't intend to. Smart. Hey, what is it? Ultrasound image of a fetus. Oh, Paul's baby. His wife's baby, the one that's inside her. I thought it was a case file, you know, some gruesome serial crime. But this is better. Uh, do you know what kind it is? Boy, girl. He's adorable. You're making a real life for yourself, Paul. We'd all be a lot saner if we had things like that to go home to. Mm. There's a call him Roger. Rog for short. It's cute as hell. How can you eat that? It's like eating cake for breakfast. What's wrong with cake for breakfast? What do you think of this stuff, hubby? Bunch of kids? Can't smoke if you're pregnant. I've got my priorities. Pancakes are cake. Pancakes are for breakfast. I got to tell you, we were in there today, and they showed us a baby. I mean, you could see him move. And I had this amazing feeling of protectiveness come over me. And it was, it was, it was terrifying. Hey, you know, you might actually be a good father. You want to protect him, bring him here. Show him what you do. Let him see the world for what it is. Yeah, show him the morgue. They got little gloves down there, I think. I'm serious. Kids are a lot stronger than people think. They should know what's out there. Yeah, I think I'll just let him stay a kid a while. Protect him by protecting him, building better walls. No such thing. Morning, Kate. Hi, Kate Todd. Henry? Breakfast! Let's hustle, kiddo! Mrs. St. Clair's driving the carpool today. And she's always early. Come on. Henry? You better not be in the pool. You know your daddy and I have to be there to watch you. Henry! Harbor, far from the city sprawl, serenity, tranquility, security, so says the brochure. At 7.30 this morning, policemen were called to a residence there. Body was found floating face down in the family pool. We've been asked to investigate. A residential drowning? This wasn't a drowning. This body was dead before it hit the water, cut open. An eight-year-old boy. Eight. It's tragic, obviously. But why does it warrant federal attention? Because the developer of Hidden Harbor plays poker with the mayor, who asked us as a favor to investigate, and I agreed. Since when do you do favors? Perhaps I was moved by the death of a small child. Maybe you should play poker with the mayor. I want this. Good. You got it. You and Locke. Head out now. We'll make material available as it comes in. We should start with the parents. Statistically, when a child is murdered, the parents are always the prime. Come on. Henry Olson, three feet, 11 inches tall, 68 pounds. The only child of Kevin and Ellen Olson. Think they beefed up security because of the death? No. Oh, it's standard procedure. They think they can keep the bad guys out? Guess it didn't work. You know, people want to feel safe. It's, it's not such a terrible thing. It is when it's a lie. Medical examiner's prelim. He wasn't just slashed, he was gutted. Upward motion genitals to the breastbone and the incision was opened up too. Yeah. Why just murder an innocent child when you could desecrate the body? I know why Webb took this case. Because it's interesting. You the feds? Special Agent Paul Ryan. This is Special Agent Rebecca Locke. Detective Price, LAPD. This way. Detective, we just want you to know that our involvement here Relax, might be. Relax, no one's gonna get territorial. We all just want this guy got. I got kids, boy and a girl. Either of you? 
No. Mrs. Olson, was it unusual for Henry to be up before you? No, he, uh, he'd be so mad if he knew I said this. <laughs> he wets the bed. He, he, he doesn't mean to. He's a deep sleeper. But if an accident wakes him up, he strips the soiled linen and throws him in the washer. And then sometimes he watches cartoons. It doesn't bother us. Did either of you uh, recall seeing any strangers in the neighborhood? The delivery service, any? No. No. Rebecca, I just uh, finished speaking with the parents. They're innocent. So now they're not suspects. We can only assume they love their son, but we can be sure they love their backyard. If either of them were guilty, we wouldn't have found the body back there. Spoil the picture. They didn't kill him. No, but someone did. The killer was still on the property when she found the body. Part of the thrill of committing the act here would have been witnessing the discovery. Or... This pervert killed Henry Olsen! Who him out of his bedroom last night? What the hell is going on? You're a team! You really think you can mess with kids in this neighborhood and not get caught? There was a witness? You're damn right there is. Honey Butcher, son of a bitch! What you do with my little boy? What you do with him? Gotta get him out of here. You bastard! Find the witness. Theodore Howard Bunch, single, groundskeeper employed by the Hidden Harbor Homeowners Association. Been with him for eight years. Lives in some kind of quarters they've got for him there. No record. He's clean. Yeah, clean. You didn't spend an hour in the car with him. Is it okay to hose him down before we go in? You're not going in. Well, if we let him too much longer, he's going to sober up and he's going to lawyer up. That's likely, but I don't want you in there bleeding on him. I think a little blood is going to bother this guy. We're assuming he's guilty, Paul. I'm not even convinced he's a suspect. Rebecca, do you have an opinion? We don't know enough. There's supposed to be a witness that can link him to the victim, but we shouldn't wait too long for that. You're right. If we do that, it'll give him time to get his bearings. All right, we'll talk to him. Not you, Paul. Danny. Really? What, you're kidding? Because I do that? Who would have thought I'd get to be a good cop? Our witness is here. Oh, great. Death wish vigilante guy. No, not him. Her. Is that his wife? Yes, but not her. Her. Mr. and Mrs. St. Clair, these are the FBI agents I was telling you about. Hi. Hi. Look, we've already told Detective Price everything our daughter knows. Do we really need to go through it all again? We need to hear it from her, ma'am. Yeah, um, and it would be best if we could speak to her in private. No, it's not. If we don't get a statement from Madison, we won't have grounds to hold Bunch, and he could be back in your neighborhood tonight. <sighs> okay. Okay, just a second. There we go. 
You can watch it just like it was one of the interrogation rooms, only better. Thanks. How's it better? It's technology. Hey, Carter. Red. Your parents have agreed to let Paul speak to her alone. What's this? Prize at the bottom of a cereal box, and by cereal box, I mean death pool. They tell me it's a fish gutting knife. Brutal, huh? Theodore Bunch. They call you Ted? Teddy. Danny, myself. Didn't much like it when I was a kid. I wanted to be called Daniel, but Danny stuck. Am I under arrest? I don't know. Why would you even ask that, Teddy? Probably need a lawyer, right? You haven't been charged with anything, have you? I didn't do anything. Good, so you won't mind answering a couple questions. I could use a drink. <laughs> Afraid that's gonna have to wait. So, can you, uh, can you tell me about Henry? Henry was a little kid. Nora likes to play with little kids sometimes, but I don't very much. Yeah, Nora, is she your friend? Best friend. Nora's a year older than me, but she's in my grade. She had to do kindergarten twice. Can you, uh, can you tell me about your groundskeeper, Teddy Bunch? He's not our groundskeeper. He cleans some of the pools, but not ours. He drinks liquor. He's skeevy. All the kids in the neighborhood love me. It's... Ask anyone. How about Henry Olson? Oh, yeah, Henry. Yeah, no, he was kind of quiet. I didn't know him that well. So if I were to get a warrant to search your place, I wouldn't find any little eight-year-old fingerprints there, right? Well, I mean, there was, there was one time. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sure, Henry been in my, in my place before. I mean, lots of kids have. I mean, not a lot. I, it's, I didn't... This Henry was... I don't think he had too many friends, so he just would stop by sometimes, you know? No, I don't know. I don't get a lot of drop-ins from eight-year-olds. He got lonely. He's the kind of kid who... He got bullied, okay? I tell from looking at you, you wouldn't get that, I do. Where were you last night? I was home. Alone? Yeah. Mm. You hear or see anything strange? Yes. What? I saw Henry running out of Teddy Bunch's house. Henry was crying. And you're sure that it was Teddy's house that you saw Henry coming out of? Well, it's not really his house. He just gets to live there because of his job. Do you remember what time it was? It was after 10 at night. Where were you this morning? I was asleep. I was in bed when the pounding on my door started. Now, Madison, where were you when you saw all of this? I don't want to say. Jeff Hahn and Marcus St. Clair come barging in. Must have had a key. Huh. Probably got it from Marcus's wife, Tessa. She's president of the homeowners. She doesn't like me much. Can I just not say? You think maybe that's because you sleep half the day when you're supposed to be working? No, honey, you, you have to tell me. I had kind of a rough night last night, that's all. Yeah, so did Henry Olson. Even rougher morning. I was in the treehouse. I'm not allowed to be up there by myself after dark. I know I should have said something, but I didn't want to get in trouble, and now Henry's dead, and it's all my fault. It's not my fault. I want my mommy. I want a lawyer. Okay, okay. Get back. Show's over. I want a lawyer. Gee, and here I was expecting a full confession. Well, our eyewitness puts Bunch with the victim well after 10 last night. Nice. We'll be able to hold him. How will she fare in front of a judge? Uh, she'll do well. She's smart, she's cute, a little precocious. And she's a liar. I never get tired of that part. Right, so she was crying. She thought she was in trouble. What if the whole thing was an act? What are you saying? What, you think she's willing to ruin a man's life? For what? 
A little attention? Why not? I mean, she certainly got it. She's 10. She has no concept of consequences. Remember McMartin? Hey, the kids at McMartin were pushed to say those things. You see me do that with Madison? No, but I got a little mommy and daddy. You don't know what they pushed her to say. Was that her mother hanging around the break room? Yeah. My mom, she a piece of work, kept complaining the coffee was decaf. Decaf? Decaf. Who keeps making decaf? Is it know. Davis? Maybe. I can't believe he keeps switching. I told him there was. He were always switches. Sorry, sir. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna go. Whatever, even if the kid was fibbing doesn't mean Bunch is innocent. Unless she's covering for the real killer. The real killer? Who might that be? I don't know. Well, let me help you out. The real killer is Teddy loves kids a bunch. Bunch, he's our guy. He doesn't have a record. We can't link him to the knife. No, it was in the water. Water that ate away all trace evidence. The chlorine content in that water was six times what it should have been. I guess who's in charge of the maintenance? So we can arrest him for being a crappy pool boy? Doesn't mean he did it. Well, let's just let him go then. Wait till he walks back in here with a toddler on a stick. We're not letting anybody go. We've got him for 24 hours until we have to give him to a federal magistrate. It's time enough to make your case. Agent Locke. Yeah. A word. So you think that the child is our killer? I never said that. You don't think she's our killer? I'm considering all possibilities. No, you aren't. You're convinced Madison St. Clair sliced open her playmate. Why? See what was inside? Agent Locke, why do you think that? Do you have any evidence to support that theory? No, not at the moment. A gut instinct, huh? Well, it might be something you ate, or it might be something eating you. Tell me, how old were you when you were abducted? I was 10. The same age as Madison St. Clair. And you don't think it's possible that your experience is clouding your judgment, that you see something of yourself in her? No. I don't see myself when I look at her. I see the man who took me. You see a sociopath. Fine, pursue it. At the very least, the little girl probably is lying. That's what children do. You have the same 24 hours to make your case as your colleagues. Are you pitting us against each other? Yeah. People just keep sending over food. Why do you suppose they do that? I guess the thinking is after a loss, you won't feel like cooking. Cooking, I don't feel like eating. Most of this is gonna spoil. I thought I'd start freezing it. W will you take some with you? Sure. I'm sorry my husband isn't here. He, he went shopping for a casket. They make them child size. They're actually a little bit cheaper. I am so sorry, Mrs. Olson. I should have called. I can come back. No, I, I wanna make sure that that man never gets a chance to do this to someone else's child. Yes. About Teddy. The day we brought him into custody, you uh, seemed surprised. Like you weren't certain, not like the others were. No. In fact, I still find it hard to believe. Why? Teddy was odd, that's true. But he was sweet. He was always so good with Henry. My son was odd, Agent Locke. He got picked on. Kevin did not a deal with it, so when Teddy Bunt showed some kindness, I was grateful. I understand. No, you don't. Henry's dead because I didn't protect him. I don't believe that. That's true. I knew Henry spent time at Teddy's. I, I never told my husband. I knew he wouldn't have approved, but... You didn't do anything wrong. How could you say that? I let that monster get close to my child. Teddy Bunch didn't murder your son. What? You said he was being picked on. Are there any bullies you can tell me about? Teddy didn't do this. The bedwetting, it had gotten worse. What happened? Uh, Henry uh, changed schools. He, he went into the fourth grade. Was he coming home with bruises? Yes. Had he started going to school with Madison St. Clair? 
Why? Ellen? Are you in? Oh, hi. Sorry. Is this a bad time? Remember, guys, you find anything you even think is interesting, I want to see it. Hey. Hey. There's a view car parked up the street. I think FBI Barbie's here. Well, she's got every right to be. If that little kid's lying, it doesn't matter how guilty Bunch is. We got no case. We need more. How about this? Box of kitty porn to tell me. I don't know. I mean, it's him. These are pictures of Bunch when he was a kid. Oh, well, that's even sicker. And you're right. He's our guy. He murdered Henry Olson. Madison made the cookies. She really wanted to bring them herself, but she's been through so much. Oh, Ellen, you really should freeze some of this. It's just going to spoil. I was going to. No, no, don't bother. Let us. Zoe, could you look for Tupperware? Thanks. Oh, Nora, sweetheart, your mother didn't make those for you. And do you really need the carbs, right? So, Ellen, listen, this may not be the time. Or, you know, maybe it is. But it can't be easy for you, you know, being in this house. So if you and Kevin are in a hurry to get out, I think I have a buyer. Of course, the law mandates full disclosure. So I'm afraid with pool might not be the asset that it normally is. But I know I can get you a fair price. Thank you, Tessa. Don't even think about it, honey. Oh, Lord, where has Nora gone? Zoe, I swear to God, you need a leash for that child. She didn't go out back, did she? I mean, it's still a crime scene, isn't it? Uh, I'll get her. No, 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 no. You shouldn't have to go back out there. I can't even imagine how awful that would be for you. Please, Fair. I'll do it. Thank you. No, you stay here with us. Oh, good, you found Tupperware. Perfect. Hi. You're Nora, right? Yeah. This is a sad place, huh? I like Henry. Did you know him very well? He was eight. He went to our school. Yours and Madison's? Did Madison like Henry? Did she pick on him? I have to go. Teddy Bunch? Theodore Bunch, senior. The little boy is Teddy. Now, the elder bunch died shortly after this picture was taken. Massive coronary, he wasn't even 35. And the significance of this sad tale is? Carter. Hang on for the punchline. The significance being what Theodore Bunch Sr. left Teddy Bunch Jr. in his will. A fabulous set of murder weapons. Teddy's mother contested the will. She didn't want him to have the knives, but that's a fight she lost. does that a lot. Like she's scared of something. She's very upset. We all are. 
because of what happened to little Henry. Hmm. Does my mother know you're here? No, I just came in through the back gate. Is that allowed? Hmm. If anyone asks, I'll just uh, tell them I was never here. That would be lying. So you do know what a lie is? I was wondering. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Yeah, I bet you don't. But I'm bigger than you. And I have a gun. Nora knows you're here. Yeah, but Nora's good at keeping secrets, isn't she, Madison? I want you to leave. I will, just as soon as you tell me the truth. You didn't see Henry with Teddy Bunch that night. But I did! I did too! No, you didn't, not from this treehouse. I look out that window and I see trees and houses, but you can't see Teddy Bunch's house from here. You're a liar. You need permission from my parents even to talk to me! Did you get permission from Henry Olsen's parents to cut him open? I know what you did, and I'm going to prove it. Madison! Madison St. Clair! Please don't hurt me! Ow! 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 Mommy! Ow! My heart! Madison! Oh my god, Madison! <laughs> How do they look? Pissed off. How does Webb look? Like Webb? Come on, tell me. Tell me you pushed her, didn't you? No. Tripped her? No. Pulled your gun, made her jump? You did. You, you pulled your gun on a 10-year-old? I did not <gasps> pull my gun. My jacket may have fallen You are some kind open. of badass. I mean, people say that, you know, I'm blunt, but I never pulled no, my gun on it. Agent I didn't Locke. even come remote. So I'll get back to you about that file. Mm. I've managed to persuade the St. Clairs not to file formal charges with the Bureau. Thank you, sir. They're still weighing whether to proceed against you civilly. I'd say they have a good case. Their daughter's arm is broken in two places, and she says you pushed her. She's lying. Of course she's lying. That's not the point. You've compromised the entire team by allowing yourself to be discredited by an 11-year-old. She's 10, sir. I feel better. You're to have no further contact with that girl, none. Do you understand? Yes. All right, that's all. So I'm still in the case? Yeah. You know that Paul and Danny have linked Bunch to the murder weapon? Yes, I heard. Madison's mother is president of the Homeowners Association. She has a key to the groundskeeper's residence. Madison would have access. Oh, yeah, and you're banned from Hidden Harbor. Sir, I won't go anywhere near Madison St. Clair, but how do you expect me to continue my investigation? Agent Locke, it's not just me. Hidden Harbor's a private community. You're on a list. They have a list. I have a badge. Run your case from the building. You realize what you're asking me to do? Yes. I'm asking you to help investigate a case that you're already an investigator on. You're asking me to climb a tree. Not a tree, a ladder. Short, little ladder. That's up in a cute little house. In a... OK, a tree. Fine. Look, take this camera and get a couple shots of the southwest view. It's all trees. And be sure you get a little piece of the treehouse window in the frame. And that's going to be admissible in court how? The St. Clairs have given you permission to investigate the incident. You'll be there legally. Given me permission? Hmm. You called and pretended to be me. Please. <gasps> I'm going to need photos to prove Madison's story is a lie. She could not have seen Teddy Bunch's residence from there. Trees ain't going anyplace. They will if the president of the Homeowners Association decides to call the tree trimmers. Please. 
What do I do with the little girls there? She ain't gonna fall for the gun flash thing twice. Shoot her. Go tomorrow, she'll be in school. What happened to your arm? The policewoman broke it because you made her mad at me. I spent all yesterday at the hospital. And they still made you come to school? I wanted to come. I wanted to see you. I didn't make her mad at you. I didn't even say anything to her. And you never will. See you after school. Hey. Heard about what happened. I didn't push her. Never thought you did. You were right. She's obviously been lying. And if it wasn't for you, we might have let the whole case ride on the back for false testimony. And we never would have linked the suspect to the knife. You saved the case. Look, don't, uh, don't feel stupid, OK? This, this is a thing Webb does. When there's a split in opinion, he, he plays it up. Thinks it makes us better. Unfortunately, he's usually right. I've been reading your report. You do a thorough job of linking Teddy to the murder weapon. Hmm. Did you get to the part about the father's will? Mother contested it, said she didn't want him having his father's fishing knives. She told the judge that she never approved of Teddy's father teaching him to kill things. Teddy said those fishing trips were his only happy memories from childhood. It really establishes the symbolic significance the knives would have for him. Which is probably why he used one for the murder. The act may have been more about the knife, the loss of his father, his own childhood, than Henry Olson. Exactly. So don't you find it odd that he left it behind? You totally walked me into that. Sorry. According to your report, he had to wait till he was 18 to take possession of those knives. Bought with his own mother in court. Hasn't spoken with her since because of it. If he'd murdered Henry Olson, don't you think he would have taken the knife with him? Let's ask him. Mr. Bunch, you do know you don't have to speak with us without your attorney present. I fired him. He told me he could make me a deal. He told me I should make a deal, like maybe I really did kill Henry. And then he called her and said the same thing. Your mother. Now she wants to see me. I don't have to if I don't want to do it. No. Mr. Bunch, do you recognize this? Did you get that? I know where we got that, Teddy. No. No. This, this was in my house. No, Teddy, it wasn't. It was in Henry Olson. Oh, God. Teddy, did you ever show this knife to Madison St. Clair? <laughs> what? Madison St. Clair, did she ever see this knife or you with it? Yes. No, not, not, not Madison. She wasn't there. Where? At Harbor Barbecue. I, I, I was showing some of the kids how to gut a fish. It's the fresh trout like that. And Madison wasn't there. That girl hates me. Which kids? Um, Henry and, and Henry's friend, Billy Graves. Billy's sister. Nora Graves. Thank you, Teddy. Please, get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. You take the rest of them, too. Are you sure you didn't find any other knives in the search? No, but I know what Seti means. It was in the photo. He obviously doesn't know what's missing. Nope. Mel, Rebecca, listen, while you're up there, I'm going to need you to check and see if there's a mahogany box anywhere. It'll be a set of knives. One will be missing. 
while I'm up there? Yeah, just call me back. <laughs> Kids. It's hard to believe. They should be innocent. Some of them. Some of them aren't. Like adults, only, you know, shorter. You think they're in it together? Nora's not smart enough or evil enough to be in it. She knows. Yeah. All right, thanks. Raymond Epperson Elementary. Did you find it? Sure did. There's one missing, right? Nope. There's two missing. Nora, I thought we could walk home today. I, I don't want to walk home. That's because you're lazy. You're lazy and you're slothful. My mother says so. She does? Yes. Come on. Madison, my mom is going to be here. No, she isn't. She's working an open house with my mother. Mr. Cedar's driving carpool. I told him you went home sick and that I had dance. I want to show you something. Hello, Madison. Leave, Nora. Mrs. Olson, I never got to tell you how sad I was about Henry and I... Oh. You are coming with me, you little monster. There you go. As soon as you know. All right. Ellen Olson. Henry's mother. Oh, God. Price is putting out an APB on Ellen's car. What about Madison's parents? Well, her father went out of town on business, left this morning. We haven't been able to locate the mother yet. So much for parental supervision. Yeah. Well, I guess there is something to be said about Mother's intuition. I wonder how long Ellen's known. Oh, Rebecca. I didn't tell her Madison was guilty. No, but you did tell her that Teddy Bunch was innocent, didn't you? I told her that she was. Paul, that woman was killing herself, thinking she was to blame because she allowed Henry to spend time with Bunch. But Teddy Bunch didn't murder her son. She didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, until now. Tell me what you did, Madison. Tell me what you did to Henry. You hit me! Tell me. You're going to tell me, and then we're going to go to the police, and you're going to tell them. I didn't do anything! Why do you have this? I, I don't know! Why? For protection against the killer. You said it was Teddy Bunch. He's locked up. But you know it wasn't Teddy Bunch that hurt Henry, don't you? No. Don't you? I want my mommy. <laughs> I want my son. Hey, got a hold of Marcus St. Clair. He's catching the next flight back from Tucson. He says his wife had an open house today out in Valencia. Apparently, she turns off her cell phone anytime she's showing a premium property. Valencia PD sent a car out. She's already gone. They're looking. All right, thanks, Danny. So it was a little girl, huh? Looks like. Hmm. Thought there was something off about her. Yeah, I guess I was the only one that missed it. Cops are with Kevin Olson right now. They're convinced he doesn't know anything about this. Well, does he have any idea where his wife might be? Not a clue. They're escorting him back to his home. We're closer. I don't think Ellen would bring Madison back to her own house. No, she wouldn't. Mommy! Mom! Your mother's not here, Madison. She's not She's here. She's coming back! Too late. She's going to find out what it means when you don't pay attention to your kids, when you don't watch what they're doing. Good afternoon, Mr. St. Clair. You have a good day now. Did you cry, Madison? <laughs> you like seeing Henry cry, didn't you? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I did it, but I'm sorry. I didn't understand it was forever. I didn't think. I didn't know. I knew it was wrong when I saw you scream. That's when I knew. You saw me? Uh, I mean, I heard you from away. You waited to see me find him? You wanted to see! <laughs> I'm 
remember. I'm on a list. Right. Hey, hey! Oh, shoot. Madison! Sweetie, how's your arm? Is there throbbing? Because I picked up your prescription. Oh, and sweetie, I hope not too many of your friends signed your cast already, because I just found the right pens. Six different colors, and the package says they were She's coming back! See? Madison? Uh, Madison St. Clair, you better not be in that pool with your cast. Honey? There's Ellen's car. I'll take the house. She was gonna hurt my baby. What's going on? Mr. Bunch has been released. And he wants his precious. His father's knives. He's decided he wants them back after all. Webb's explaining to him the meaning of state's evidence and why he can't have them. They were all he had left of his father. Well, even though Nora Graves finally ratted out Madison St. Clair, no one's gonna wanna see that guy walk back into Hidden Harbors with a mess of knives. <sighs> He's not going back to Hidden Harbor. Well, somebody got their kid back. Never ends, does it? Even when they're all grown up, you still have that urge to protect them. Yeah, but who's gonna protect the parents from the kids? The kids are the products of their parents. They're the St. Clair's. Mother, daughter, killers. And maybe it's genetic. The murder gene. You could use that for the title of your book. You know about my book? Everybody's got a book. No. Tessa was just doing what you're supposed to do. Lioness coming to the aid of her cub. I'm not at all convinced Madison is her fault. Maybe. Some people are just born bad. Yeah. Maybe.